Right, welcome to today's uh, re-upload again. Keep re-uploading them. It's because none of you watch the old ones. There's nearly 400 tool videos. Go back and watch them. Anyway, what I've got for you now is a very old early Woolworth. You can see how old it is by the shape of it. I mean, that does look 1930s, doesn't it? Right, so that's jaw off. Thumb wheel out. And another little bit in here, which I shall come to later. Right, let's have a quick look at the condition of this before. I mean, that's just been banged around in a box, isn't it? It's not actually too bad. It's just paint chips. Well, I tell you what, 1930s paint meets nowadays wire wheel on an angle grinder, and it does not stand a chance. <laughs> look at that flying off of there. This has been like 20 seconds, and I've nearly done half one side. Hang on, I'll bring it up here and you can see better. Right, just in case you were daydreaming there or popped out to the loo, we'll flip it over and you can see the other side fly off as quick as any. Now with this one, I'm applying French polish. It gives the steel a bit of an, more of an aged look, I think. More of a look that I believe it should have had in the 1930s. Okay, so the patent for this particular wrench was applied and granted in 1932. This differed a little bit from the previous one because of this addition of this spring. So this is a lovely coat of Hard Hat Red by Rust-Oleum. In for a right wobbly close up now because I just cannot believe this 90 year old wrench. Look how it's finished. It is finished absolutely fantastic, even down to the paintwork. It's just come out lovely. 
And when the writing is too small and fiddly, even for one of those little pens, one of these. Memory foam earplugs. Now, hasn't that come out well, considering the size and awkwardness of the hieroglyphics on here? I think it really makes the lettering stand out, takes the wrench up a notch. Okay, so here's the after shot, and the before shot. Oh, and the after shot. And I have still got this wrench, and it is on my wall. It's been sitting there a year, gathering dust. Here it is. Can you see the dust? We'll, we'll move in for a close-up on the dust. But mainly we want to see if any of the rust has come back through that coat of French polish we put on. Right, well, that's going to round it up for today. And I'm going to say bye for now.